Hey, welcome to another episode of Tech Tools Review. If you go to any website, you'll almost always see a privacy page. And the privacy page obviously has all the privacy and terms and conditions that the website has. And also information about cookies, which is required in the whole EU. So if your website doesn't have this, you know, you could get in trouble, if, especially if you're doing business in the EU regions and many other parts of the world. And so the whole reason for doing this is you definitely want to make sure that your website is compliant and uh, even like search engines look for these things as well. Okay. So how you would do that in WordPress is we're going to use a combination of a plugin and also some websites that I use to generate the privacy and cookie information. So the first thing you want to do is actually add a plugin. So if you go to your plugins in WordPress and add new, you can look up. The first thing is a cookies plugin. Now there is a terms and condition plugin as well. There's many of them. However, I find that they're very complicated to use. And so I'm only going to focus on the cookie one. And the one that I use is cookie notice by D factory. It is very popular, but it's super easy to use. So once you've installed and activated this, all you would do is actually go to your settings right here and you'll see cookie notice. What I like about this plugin is that it's easy to use. Okay. So here you can configure their message. So if you went to your website and the plugin works, see right there, there's your message and you could change this to fit your site. And then if you scroll down, there's a button text that says, okay, as you can see right here, that confirms that you agree that this site has cookies. And then there are also some other options which we're going to actually work on. Enable read more will allow you to link it to a page, whether it's on a page outside of your website or you could choose a page within your website. Okay. So the custom link, you can put whatever URL you want. Okay. But the page link, you could easily just set like a page you've already built within your site. Okay. Which is what we're going to do uh, once we create the page. Now there are some other things right here too, uh, as the ability to refuse the third party cookies. You also have the option to have on scroll where if the user scrolls down, it'll pretty much say like they accept this and this will just like disappear, which I think is a really cool option. So then users don't have to click anything. There's also a cookie expiration. And then there's some other options here, including colors, but I'm not going to focus on those, but those are the main things that these, this plugin offers. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is actually create the page. Okay. So instead of creating a separate cookie and privacy page, what I like to do is create one privacy page with all the terms and services and then put the cookie information, the disclaimer in the middle. Okay. And so you can do that through plugins, but like I said, I find them kind of confusing. And also at the same time, say like you wanted to create a, a cookie page or terms of service. And then here's a website that they uh, actually link to. And most of these, they might offer you a free one, uh, but you're going to have to put in your information. And then they also offer the paid service, which, you know, all of these are, have lawyers and legal teams for every part of the world. So that's why you would use these. Okay. And why you would pay for these. But for somebody who's just going on a website, I don't really think you need that uh, detailed information unless you were running a business and you want to be completely legally, uh, you know, good, you know, on it. Okay. But for the majority of people, they just need like some boilerplate stuff. Okay. So the sites that I recommend to do this first is for the privacy policy in terms of service. I recommend this site right here, Benadel.com. He has created a privacy policy generator and it's absolutely awesome. He does offer this for free. So we'll leave that link in the description area. And then also the second place is the cookies page. This is uh, actually directly from the EU and I will leave a link there as well. And they have the whole page on the cookie policies, but most importantly, they provide you with a template that you can use, you know, so you could create your own cookies page, which is compliant with the EU requirements. Okay. So the privacy policy is really simple to use. You just simply, you know, put in your company or your website, you put the state that you're in and you know, this isn't like completely, you know, uh, read through by a lawyer for your specific region. This is more boilerplate material. So if you need this to be a hundred percent legal, then you need to just consult your lawyers. Okay. 
or use one of those other paid sites, okay, which have lawyers behind them. So you go ahead and generate this, and bam, there it is. It's really awesome. It created all of this. It looks great. And so all you have to do is just copy the HTML and paste that on your website, okay? So I'm going to copy this, and then when you go back to your page, just go create a new page, and I would just call this page Privacy Policy. Okay, and since that was HTML on your WordPress editor, make sure you have it on text and not visual. Okay, and then just paste the HTML, and then when you go back to visual, there you go. And the great thing about that privacy policy generator is that it puts the name of your company in all this text. It looks really great. Okay, so the only thing missing here is the cookie policy. So let's go ahead and publish this. Now that we have our privacy policy slash cookies page, and now we need the cookies. So as I said, you can download the cookies policy template, okay, which I've already done. And so once you download it, you see the zip file. So all you have to do is unzip it, and you see a cookie notice template folder. And here, there's many different versions, but the one you want, if you're in the U.S., is cookie notice template en.doc. So that's English. So just go ahead and open it. Okay, so once you see the template, it's really a very simple template and it's straightforward. So what I would do is copy this information here. Okay, and then you go back to your page. And what you can do is go ahead and add a, another line right here. I just call it cookies policy. And you could go ahead and, you know, format this later, but just uh, copy and paste that. See, I just copy and pasted that right there. And then from the document itself, the place that you actually might want to edit or you should is this part. How do we use cookies? So it's specific to your website. Okay. And you can put that in later. Okay. And then here, I'm going to get the rest of these. Okay. And you can edit this later, okay? But I'm just showing you how to actually get that onto your website, okay? All right, so let's update this. And there you go. There is your privacy policy and cookies disclaimer, okay? So now that you have your page, you could go back to your cookie notice plugin, okay? And then you could actually choose enable read more and choose a page link and now you see your privacy policy page available and you could just save this okay so then if you go back to your website let's go ahead and refresh this and see now you have a read more if you say okay it just means that it'll disappear and there it is now you could choose read more and when you click on read more, it goes to your privacy policy slash cookies page. And like I said, you could edit this information, uh, have it more detailed, or you could add more legal terms as needed. Okay. And that is how you would actually not only create a privacy policy slash cookies page, but also put in a really cool plugin that is easy to use, but that also works and will also make you compliant with the various laws around the world, especially within the EU and also the privacy policy. That's pretty much all around the world. You know, you're going to need something like that. And so hopefully that will help people get their websites pretty much good to go and compliant as much as possible. And then if you need a more legal compliance, then obviously you're going to have to consult with the lawyer or one of those sites that have a legal team. So if you had any thoughts on this or you had your own way of actually putting in a privacy policy cookie notice, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And if you did get value out of these videos, please subscribe for more videos and we'll see you on another episode.